Today we are adding third-party VST plugins into MPCX. On a weekly basis we provide the content to Grow Your Music Studio. So if you are not subscribed, please do it now. The beauty about the double stimulation, I'm talking about hardware and software, synchronized with each other is that basically we can go on your big screen instead of the small one of the hardware and make certain adjustments wherever you like wherever you've been working on it took me so far hundreds of hours with this machine i absolutely do love the library of music they provide it's rich, it's powerful, it's ready to go. Great balanced material. What I can just grab and immediately turn it into my own music. My background of music creation started with Pro Tools. We are talking about high definition software, 16 channel audio interface, everything top notch. By accident, I upgraded an operating system on my computer. Guess what? When I've done that, my audio interface stopped working. I could have reversed the whole thing. But I'm thinking I'm going towards the future. I'm very confident that Pro Tools, eventually, it's going to upgrade the you know, the drivers of the audio interface. So basically these two can communicate. I have waited almost two years. I'm a very loyal person. I went to this point that I couldn't take it anymore. I wanted to compose music. I sold all my equipment and I surrounded myself with universal audio. Apollo X8. They have this beautiful software call, called Luna. I've got access to the newest plugins. They upgrade the Luna every other week. And basically I can always drop a note to them directly, just asking questions or suggestions towards what kind of adjustments or upgrade they could do next towards that software. So it's a phenomenal relationship. I loved it so much. Now I'm dealing with uh, MPCX for the first time in my life. So I kind of, I learn a new perspective on music and how to compose it. It's a wonderful experience. Don't make me wrong. Once again, they are loaded with a lot of great sounds. However, over the years, I have collected a beautiful library of my favorite sounds. So now the question is, after a while, I got exhausted by selecting like bass sounds I didn't like in MPCX, or piano sounds I didn't like, or guitar. I was searching for acoustic sound of the guitar. Just, you know, uh, the lim I found that limitation. And I remembered that I spent a lot of money collecting my favorite plugins. Now the question is, can I use them in the MPCX? And what I found out is the answer is absolutely yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let me show you how it's done. It's much easier than you think. First thing you have to remember to synchronize your hardware with the software. Now when we go to the software screen, in the upper left corner, we've got the sequence. If I change the sequence name 
for something else like verse. I did it in hardware and manifest it in a software. Let's create a track. All drums. And a new plugin program for now. Okay. Uh, the reason why we make those changes is just I want you to realize how tight these two units are. First verse, track drum, program 002, 002. Perfect. The main idea is that you go into your computer's hard drive and connect your pl existing plugins, what you have collected over the years, with this new MPC-X unit. In order to achieve that, you go to MPC, hit that MPC sign, go to Preferences. In the Preferences, you've got a couple of pointers like audio interface, MIDI, active plugins, and there's something called plugins underneath. Okay? So look what happened. When you do that, it's going to spill hard drives where your library of sounds is. We already marked ours, one and two. And all I have to do is press this rescan all. When I do that, now my computer, it's gonna con connect plugin after plugin, plugin after plugin into the MPC software. This process takes a few minutes, depending how big your library is. Of course, when it's done, you press OK, and guess what? You're ready to use them all. Now, they are downloading now. There's certain uh, activation, like there's certain windows which you have to activate, or basically, for now, we are going to quit, quit. I don't want to type all the passwords and just... So we are going to create like a basic library of sounds for now, okay? Without any troubles, quit. Okay. Over the years, you see, through this process with MPCX, phenomenal process, I have missed access to my favorite plugins. As a music composer, I'm thinking it's not about the amount of plugins you collect over the years, but what quality of the plugins you use. Um, there will be another video when I will discover basically my favorites and I'm going to tell you why. Today's video it describes the process of using them. So let's just concentrate on a topic, but please stay in tune for that video because it's going to be phenomenal. It will change your perspective and save you a tremendous amount of money. These plugins will work only on the software. These units are synchronized. I can use them. So basically, my MPCX acts like a MIDI controller where I basically use plugins stored in my, from my computer, but you know, I cannot download them into the unit. I can use them, but I cannot download them. And I say to myself, since I have access to both, who cares, right? I'm about to use my favorite plugins. And this is huge. All right, so we are coming to an end of our scanning process. See, some of the plugins failed due to act lack of activation. Rest of them were totally fine. 
we are reaching this um, point of the download that the last button in green says done and next to it says scan complete now all you have to do is just hit this ok button and guess what we are ready to go we've got three main programs in mpcx one of them is drum program another one is instruments program and lastly a plugin program now since we are using a third party vst plugins 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 in order to access them we will have to switch into a plugin program first please look at the screen of the hardware sequence not important right now track drums right now we are going to switch we can call it test we can call it piano wherever you want right later on depending what you're looking for so now instead this is drum program this is instrument program now we are hitting plugin program when you do that when you see a plugin programs this window manifests with variety of different choices you can add plugin program plugin number two you can change the name of it and guess what you can hit the sound but uh, button or go to plugin window and you've got a variety of different sounds available on the hardware when you scroll down there's something manifested for us as an extra called VST. When you open that window, you've got all your plugins available right there. Anything you have purchased over the years just manifests in that screen. So this is now another way of entering these plugins is through the sound icon. I love this because I'm, I use vision as a primary target. And basically I find these, uh, all the plugins, my favorite plugins right here. See, I enter the plugin main and the plugin just manifested. Now the way you do it on the screen is slightly different. On the plugins, like we can change the plugin, for example, since we manifested the guitar sound, let's just guitar. Okay, boom. Now, under the guitar, there is a name of the plugin, which you basically own, right? But right next to it, there is a little icon. Icon. If you hit that icon, it's going to lead you towards your the window which you are familiar with and you've got the sound of your favorite acoustic guitar now you can enter the sounds through your pads or use your keyboard as a vehicle for that instrument And you get the idea. Okay, it's very easy. So this is how it works. You select a sequence. In sequence, you address certain parameters you enter a specific track. Under the track, you want to generate some sound. So you go to programs. You name it the guitar. So now you're looking for plugin called the guitar. You click on that name. Under this plus, when you unplus it, there will be a variety of different plugins available to you. Okay? You just hit the plugin you like like for example i can switch this 
uh, guitar to electric and then select. And look, I'm going to switch to a slightly different sound, the same plug in the same company, but in different way. Uh, I had that square next to it and I've got a different kind of guitar. You've got the access to your favorite VST plugins. <laughs> 